Hey. It's all right, Big Joe. I'm trying to take care of you, brother. All right, so we're gonna try again on Big Joe. Don't know how it's gonna go. Could be interesting. Um, I got a hot shot this time. Um, and uh, we'll, I don't know, we'll try, we'll try. We've got help today, we've got, we got Mama and we got Brooks bundled up. It's a little chilly today and we got Kevin, so. We're gonna give it a go with Big Joe. I really wanna see how much he weighs. This is where he stopped last time and we couldn't get him to go all the way through the tub and through here. So we're gonna try again. I got the GoPro strap to my chest so you can see it up close and personal if he does anything. Can you latch that? Hey buddy. There he goes, he hit it. Hey. It's all right, Big Joe. I'm trying to take care of you, brother.
doesn't take much. Are you gonna open this one? Thank you guys for watching. Another disappointing time to not be able to get Big Joe worked. Biggest, it's awesome having him here, an animal like him, and we're lucky because he is an awesome bull. But the bad part, like I said, and one of my previous videos when we worked the bison out was, the bad part is he's never been through one of these. He's never been through an alley system, never been through a squeeze shoot at all. So you, you take an animal that size at that level and you try to put them through one of these that's never been through it and that's tough. You know, animals like Dunbar here, and he's a good sized bull, but Dunbar has been going through these since he was a calf. And he started at Doc Parsons place in Stratford, which is where I got my first five. Those animals were handled. Those animals went through a squeeze chute and uh, Big Joe and those two ladies had never been until they got here. Now the two ladies, Kit and Flo, they went through this great last time that we worked the, uh, the entire herd. But um, I don't know, we're gonna have to, uh, we're definitely gonna have to beef up our corral. We're gonna have to beef up our handling alley system that we have here with the blackout. We're gonna have to put in some new gates and stuff because he was bouncing off those gates pretty good. He was actually pretty worked up this time. I don't know what was going off Big Joe. This time he was a lot, um, a lot more excited than he was last time. He knew something was up when, when you start going in there and opening the gates and letting them through and trying to push them he knew something was up. So we're gonna do safeguard pellets now. That's our only option because I want to make sure we get that guy taken care of. And that's what the original owners used to do. So we're gonna get him safeguard pellets and that's fine. It's That's okay. At least we're doing something. I wanted to get some triangle tin in him um, like I did the rest of the herd. But uh, glad we got the other two worked um, of the big herd. We got uh, Dakota and Bellstar worked and that was fast and easy and that that all went well just kevin and i just me and him uh rounded them up and, and and worked them and got that done in like 10 or 15 minutes big joe on the other hand another uh another problem something to just work on sometimes it just doesn't go as planned as you want and that's okay because that's part of raising animals thank you guys for watching and uh i can't tell you the weight on big joe yet we will someday I don't know. Hopefully we'll someday. I sure would love to get him on some scales. That would be really nice. But in the meantime, thank you guys for watching. Hit that subscribe button, guys. We're raising the American bison here in southern Oklahoma. What an amazing animal. Always doesn't do what you tell him to do. It never goes that way. <laughs> you can try, but as you can tell. Thank you guys for watching. If you guys already haven't, check out my website at crosstimmersbison.com. I've got some hats on there uh, I've got some new gear coming uh, I've got some uh, new t I got a new t-shirt uh, that's coming out here pretty soon you can go on there and check that out if you ever want to order any merchandise from our website and you can uh, join our local bison herd here in southern Oklahoma thank you guys